Okay. All right, and we're gonna start to just bring the toes and the feet together. Okay, strong standing foundation. Start to find the legs, using your legs. Shoulders are down and back. Okay, pulling the head back so it's right above the shoulders. I'm just finding that one point of focus. We're gonna keep that throughout the whole practice. Let's start pounding on my breathing. Interlace all 10 fingers, place the knuckles directly beneath your chin. Have the thumbs always touching to the throat. Okay, relaxing the eyes. Exhale out any stale air. Begin to inhale, elbows up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Press the chin down through the back of the knuckles. Eyes are forward, suck the stomach in, push the air all the way up into the lungs, hold it, exhale it out. Big loud HA sound, exhaling through the mouth. Six full seconds, shoulders down. Round the shoulders, squeeze hands, palms, elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale, through the nose, chin down, eyes forward. Nice and slow, really gripping the feet into your floor. Suck the lower stomach in, chin down, eyes forward, right at the top, full lungs. Exhale, dropping the head back, big audible HA sound, contracting the abdominal muscles, sucking the stomach in, squeeze palms, elbows touch away from the chest at the end. Inhale, elbows spreading wide. Press the chin down towards the floor so it's parallel to the floor. Feel that stretch across your hands, your palms, eyes forward, belly in, full lungs. Exhale, dropping the head back. We wanna look down the ceiling. Farther back, look for the back wall behind you, stretching the eyes. Elbows more forward towards the mirrors, elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale, through the nose, spread the elbows. Good, keep squeezing your legs. Sucking the lower stomach in, activating your lungs, activating abdominal muscles to the very top, full lungs. Exhale it out, dropping the head back. We're pushing into the floor with your heels. Good, push the knuckles against the front of the throat. Suck your stomach in, feel the core. Elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale for one, two, chin down, three, four. Spread the ribs, five, take another sip, hold it on six. Exhale, six. Eyes open, five, look way back, four, belly in, three, keep exhaling, two, elbows touch, hold it on one, let's inhale through the nose. Make this the biggest breath you've taken so far, press the chin down, down into the knuckles, suck the lower stomach in, push all this fresh oxygen into the body, exhale it out, drop the head back, good. Rounding and wrapping the shoulders forward, forward, forward. Feel that length through the tricep. Palms together, elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale. Two more of the biggest breaths. Press the chin down into the back of the knuckles. Good. Keep the eyes on one point of focus. Suck the lower stomach in. Push all that fresh air to the body. Exhale it out. Dropping the head back. Make this your deepest exhalation. Get everything out. Suck the stomach in. Squeeze hands, elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale through the nose. Final one, first and only set. Press the chin down into the back of the knuckles. Lengthen through your spine, stick the chest slightly out, stretch the rib cage, full lungs. Exhale, dropping the head back. We want everything to come out. Open the eyes, suck the stomach in, squeeze your hands, palms, forearms, elbows touch, holding it. Change, lowering the arms. Okay, so swallowing a few times, let's keep that one strong point of focus. Okay, squeezing the legs, take a nice inhale, arms come up over the head for half moon. Let's go palms together, interlace all 10 fingers, release the index, cross the thumbs, squeeze the palms. Biceps to the ears, body weight pushing through the heels, take a nice inhale, breathing, lift to the ceiling, and start to bend your body down to your right and down to your left. We're gonna sway several times side to side, opening up each part of the spine. And right, once you've gone left and right, forwards and then backwards, you can bend into your knees a few times and just start to open up the joints. Feel some popping, some cracking. Notice your breathing. Make sure it's continuously breathing through the nose. And once you feel that, again, nice strong stretch on each side. Let's come back into the middle. All right, reground. Squeeze the palms. Squeeze the legs. Take a nice inhale, breathing. Lift to the ceiling. We bend to your right in an absolutely straight line without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Let's squeeze the palms, good. Palms together, push the hips to your left. Beyond that flexibility, opening up the whole left side body. So it's fingertips to toes, inside out bones to skin stretching. Suck the stomach in, tightening your abdominal muscles. Two hips are forward, upper body slightly back. Feel the chest, the rib cage opening up towards the ceiling. Now chin up away from the chest. 
Let's go, hips a little bit more to the left, upper body more to the right, and then right at the end, squeeze your palms, suck your stomach in, come all the way down, push. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, inhale through center. All right, arms stay locked. Take an inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Let's bend to your left, come up out of the waist. Reaching over to the left side of your room without bending the elbows, without bending the knees. We're gonna push the hips out to the right beyond the flexibility squeezing inner thighs together, squeezing palms together, and then opening up two armpits, two shoulders towards the mirrors in front of you. Start to move the left bottom shoulder forward, and then right hip comes forward. The shoulders and hips will stay in alignment if the core is always pulled in. So suck the stomach in, press down through your heels, and now come all the way down to your deepest point. Exhale, breathing, come down, push. Four, three, two, one. Inhale through center. Okay, arms are locked, squeeze the palms. Slowly begin dropping, head back. And look for the farthest thing behind you, trace the eyes down the ceiling, look for the back wall. Now press the heels down, squeeze the inner thighs, take an inhale, lift your shoulders up to the ears. Feel that lift in the upper back, keep that, pull the arms back only. Pull the arms back, arms back, arms back. Now point down through the wrists and the index fingers, start to dive back, curling back through your upper back, middle back, lower back, full spine backward bending, slightly pulling into that front side belly, squeezing down through your heels, squeezing through the inner thighs. Now push hips a little bit more forward, dive back, stretch back, go back, more back, touch the floor, hold it. Change, inhale, good. Suck the stomach in, let's exhale, forward fold, and come all the way down the opposite way. So you're gonna slowly come down, hinging at the hips, bend your knees whenever you're ready, separate all 10 fingers, grab the floor, and just start to move things around, whatever feels good this morning. So maybe a few again, bounces into the knees, paddling out your legs, rolling out your wrists, your ankles, your shoulders. All right, and let's just let the head hang as heavy as it can get. First set, Padakonstasana. Big toes touch, heels touch. Let's press the heels again down, bend your knees, place the belly to the thighs, and now wrap the hands behind your heels. All 10 fingers being stepped out, including your thumbs. Wrap the elbows so tight, they're almost touching. Now shoulder blades are pulled down the spine. Exhale, breathing, roll forward, lift. Hips up towards the ceiling, hips up, tailbone up towards the ceiling. Now start to pull, use the bicep strength, pulling, stretching the body down from the lower spine down towards the floor. Roll forward, push the stomach to your thighs, suck your stomach in, press the chest to your knees, now touch your forehead to your shins. Good, shoulders up. Wrap the elbows, roll forward now. Lock your knees, pull. Change. Palms together. Try to keep the belly right up next to the thighs. Palms together, then inhale, rise up. Flat spine, reach up as soon as you're at the very top. Exhale, lower, arms to your sides. All right, palms slightly forward, completely still. Chin away from the chest, breathing through the nose. We do the same thing second set, half the time. Inhale, arms up over the head, palms touch. Interlace 10, release the index fingers, cross your thumbs, squeeze the palms together, squeeze your legs. Take an inhale, lift up, and let's bend to the right. Squeeze the palms, shift the hips out to your left. And we wanna see if we can really keep the abdominal strength there. Suck the stomach in without popping the rib cage out, without curving the back. Ribs under, belly in. Squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze your palms, come down to your deepest point, exhale, breathing, push four, three, two, one. Inhale, up through center, let that full breath go. Take a new inhale, reach up, lengthen up to the ceiling, bend to your left, come up out of the waist, reach over to the left side of the room. Squeeze your palms, push the hips out to the right. Completely, again, pulling the abdominal strength, pulling in your muscles, keeping the ribs tightly packed into the spine, and then chin up away from the chest. Biceps tighter to the sides of the head. Go to shoulders, two hips in one line, and now come all the way down. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your palms. Push four, three, two, one. In healthy center. Squeeze your palms, squeeze your legs. Slowly start to drop the head back and see if you can lift, lengthen the neck, slowly drop it back. Squeeze the palms together, elbows are locked. Take an inhale, lift your heart up, chest up, pull your arms back as far as they can go first. Arms back, feel that in your shoulders, your upper back, and now push the hips, suck the stomach in, and dive backwards. Start to look down the ceiling. Now look for the floor, look for your index fingers as they guide you towards the floor, move your wrists, point them down towards the mat. 
Now inhale, heart up, chest up, middle back opening. Exhale, push forward, lower spine, arch back, go back, look back, reach back, touch the floor. Change, push down, lift up. Good, exhale, forward fold. Let's go right down the opposite way. Really good, come down, bend your knees, separate all 10 fingers, drop the head, shake it once or twice. And let's go right back in. So it's second set, we've already done this before. Toes and feet touch, bend your knees, wrap the hands behind your heels. Step underneath your heels, all 10 fingers, including your thumbs. Shoulder blades pull down your spine, forearms against the back of the calf muscles, all right? Stabilize, roll forward and lift. Hips up towards the ceiling. So feeling a little bit more warmed up, pushing the knees to the back wall, lift your thighs up, pull on your heels. You can always pull more than you think. So pull, use your bicep strength. Pull top of the head to touch to the top of your feet. Good, roll forward, suck your stomach in. Now push your knees back, lift your thighs up and touch forehead to your shins, hold it. Change, that's it, palms together. Press down through your toes, lift up, straight through your gun. Spine right to the ceiling, get as tall as you can. At the very top, exhale, lower arms to the sides. Create stillness, one point of focus, and move right into Ukatasana. So step the right foot out to the right. Six inches between the feet, all 10 toes point forward, pinky toes pointing straight, heel behind the big toe. Let's inhale, arms up parallel to the floor, triceps contracted, fingertips reaching to the tops of the shoulders. So let's take a nice inhale, suck the stomach in, exhale, sit back into a chair. We're gonna sit way back into a chair. Sink the hips backwards, bending your knees, stretching through the hamstrings. Body weight pushing into your heels. Big toes gripped into your floor. Arches of the feet are lifting, activating. Let's relax shoulder blades, arch the upper body back, create that nice C curve to your lower spine. Now pull the belly button into your lower back. Bend your knees, sit down a little bit deeper, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, change. Inhale through center, good. Relax the shoulders, let's lift the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Big and second toes are holding you up. So stabilize first, make sure the spine doesn't curl back. So you're completely straight, ribs are in, and now bend your knees. And just bend your knees, sit right into the chair. You don't wanna to take too much time going into it because that's gonna to start to make you lose your balance. You're gonna come right into your chair, thighs parallel to your floor, good. Arms parallel to your thighs, suck the stomach in. Shoulders maybe a little bit more forward. Shoulders again, right above your hips. And now holding, heels up, knees up, Three, two, one. Inhale through center, good. Very slowly, heels come down, third final part. Let's squeeze the knees together. All right, lift slightly up onto the toes. As you exhale, start sliding down the back wall. And it's the same thing, maybe just really knowing where the shoulders are in comparison to the hips. So they're right above, strong straight spine, ribs in, belly in. Come all the way down, nice. Pause right before the hips touch your heels. Now point the knees, down towards the floor. So if there was a ball in your lap, it would roll right off. Relaxing the face, the eyes, the jaw, squeeze your knees, lift up a half inch, and then inhale, rise up. Five, four, squeeze the knees. Three, two, one. Really good, heels come down to feet together, arms down to your sides, keep the shoulders back, chin up, eyes up. And let's go one strong set eagle. Inhale, arms up over the head, palms touch. Cross the thumbs, exhale, breathing, swing right arm under your left arm. Crossing at the elbows, crossing again at the wrists. Let's pull the elbows up and down, side to side to get two shoulders into one straight long line, fingertips down beneath your nose. And now suck the stomach in, sit down into your chair, bend your knees, arch the upper body back, Move the right leg up, over, and around your left. Let's point the toes, cross, wrap, twist your legs like ropes. Move the foot around the back of the calf muscle. Find your one point of focus. Breathing through your nose. Left shoulder down, left hip forward. Lean back. Suck your stomach in. Squeeze tighter. Sit a little bit deeper. Pull the elbows down to the floor at the end. Hold. Change. Nice job. Inhale. Fill the lungs. Try to come right overhead. Palms touch. Exhale, swing left arm under the right arm. Cross the elbows, cross once more at the wrists. So up and down at the elbows, side to side, two shoulders in alignment. Fingertips down as low as they can get. Suck the stomach in, sit down, bend your knees. Press the heels down, arch the upper body back, lift out of your lower spine, left leg up, over and around your right. Point the toes, crossing, wrapping, twisting the legs like ropes. Bending into your right knee, nice. Sitting down as deep as you can. 
two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Chin up, eyes forward, start to really suck that lower stomach in, squeezing tighter through your thighs. And now bend that right knee, sit to your deepest point, lean upper body back at the end. Change, nice job, really good. Inhale, fill the lungs. And on your exhale, we lower arms down to your sides. Try to keep that one point of focus, create at least one second of stillness. And if you do need a sip of water, just quickly break off. So grab that water now. If not needed, keep your meditation. Take as many long, deep inhales and exhales as you can, breathing through the nose. And we start back into it. So we're gonna come right back into the middle. Toes and feet touch nicely. We're gonna move into the balancing series for the practice. We've all done this plenty of times before. So if you fall out, just go right back in. So we're gonna start into standing head to knee. Let's go big toes touch, heels touch. Find that one point of focus that you'll keep. And we start with left leg locked out, solid concrete. Let's inhale, right leg off the floor. Thigh parallel, flex all five toes to the ceiling. Suck the stomach in, round down, find a grip. 10 fingers down beneath your foot, including your thumbs with your grip. Now as we're grabbing underneath your foot again, make sure the thumbs are with the rest of the fingers. We're grabbing closer towards the top, the ball of the foot, we're not gonna hold the heel. Shoulders relaxed, eyes forward. And there's that again, small space in between the legs so the heel's not tilting towards the standing leg. Heel straight. Flex the foot more, suck the lower stomach in and now watch the standing leg into your mirrors. If that leg is locked out, solid concrete, take the next inhale, kick, right leg out and fold. Kick and extend, allow the kick to stretch the shoulders forward. Move both hips towards the mirror in front of you. Two hips in one line, two shoulders again, nice and strong, two elbows are locked. Let's go elbows down squeezing the elbows underneath your calf muscle. As the elbows come down, keep flexing the foot. That's gonna help the back of the leg begin to stretch. Keep the toes pointing straight up. Don't let the foot turn and now hold it. Good, three, two, and reverse on one. Restraining the arms, good. Right leg back to center, feet together, beautiful. Nice job, arms to your sides, nice Laura. Full breath in out of the nose. We're gonna do the same thing second side. So right leg takes all the weight. Let's inhale, left leg comes up. Left thigh parallel to the floor, flex all five toes to the ceiling. Suck the stomach in, round it. Find a grip, 10 fingers down beneath your foot, including the thumbs with your grip. Notice how much the hips start to sink back when we round in. So see if you can come almost just straight down. Grab the foot, interlacing all 10 fingers, body weight pressing firm into the front of the toes. Big toe gripped into your floor. Suck the stomach in, lift from the middle back, watch your standing leg. If the standing leg is not moving, shaking, or wobbling, take your next inhale and start to slowly kick. Left leg on floor. Kick and extend. Notice if the foot begins to turn. I'm gonna drop the left hip down. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Both legs are locked, flex the toes, elbows down. Squeeze the elbows into your calf. And we want elbows down, wrists in. Shoulders down, suck the stomach in and flex. Three, good. Two, and reversing on one. Slow as you can, come back out. Beautiful, left foot back to center, feet together, optional backward bend. So hands to your low back, kind of push up against the low back, maybe the middle back if that feels better. Drop the head, look down for the wall behind you, look for the floor. And it's right back to your meditation. So one point of focus, let's go second set, half the time. Okay, seeing where you're gonna go next. So toes and feet touch nicely, left leg solid, concrete. Let's go, inhale, right leg lifts. Thigh parallel to the floor, flex all five toes. Now suck the stomach in, let's round down. Find a grip, 10 fingers down beneath your foot, including the thumbs with your grip. Watching the standing leg into your mirror as it is solid, concrete, one piece unbroken. Take the next inhale, start to kick, right leg out and forward. Kick and extend through the heel, flex all five toes. Now both legs are locked, let's pull elbows down. Squeeze the elbows into your calf. Shoulders back, suck the stomach in and tuck the chin. Let's touch forehead to your knee. You wanna exact forehead to your knee. Stabilize your hips. Stabilize the standing gluteal muscle. And if you have forehead to your knee and you're holding, releasing hands, holding, breathing. Three, keep the heel up. Two, and slowly reverse on one. Nice job. Slowly coming out the opposite way. Beautiful feet and toes together so strong. Arms to your side, shoulders back. Breathing through the nose, second side. Let's do it again. Right leg presses into the floor. And let's inhale, left leg off the mat. Flex all five toes up towards the ceiling. 
right? Keeping that thigh parallel, suck the stomach in. Let's round in, find a grip, 10 fingers down beneath your foot, including the thumbs with your grip. Same thing as you're rounding into it, make sure the hips aren't moving back. So suck the stomach in, try to keep the hips right above that standing ankle. Watch your standing leg into your mirrors, and if you're ready, start to inhale, kick, right leg out and forward, kick and extend. Oh, your left foot out and forward, kick and extend. Two legs are locked out, two arms are locked out, and we're gonna bend elbows down beneath the calf muscles. As you pull the elbows down, pinch the elbows into your calf. If you fell out, come back into it. Let's tuck the chin round, touch the forehead to your knee. And now keep kicking, keep really flexing all five toes. That's gonna help the legs stay there. And if you have that, releasing hands when you're ready. Kick so hard through the heel. Lift that leg a little bit higher, use in that standing quad. Three, two, lift, one, beautiful. And slowly coming out, just the opposite way to reverse. Really nice effort, left leg comes down, so good. Bring the hands to the low back if that feels nice. Push the hips forward, drop the head, look way back. All right, and let's work the full spine backward bending. So standing ball plank pose again, really trying to avoid looking around as best as we can. Just keep that one point of focus. Let's start with standing bow, right hand comes out, palm facing up towards the ceiling. Let's take the right arm out to the side, drop the right arm down. Let's grab back at the inside of the right ankle. Squeeze your knees together. All right, two hips in one line, shoulders above the hips, chin back, eyes up. Inhale, left arm comes up, palm facing forwards. All right, so standing gluteal muscle is firing. Okay, activate the whole standing leg, take an inhale, lift up, stretch up, start to kick okay, right leg back and away. We're gonna kick back and kick back and slide the left shoulder forwards. Pull that left shoulder blade towards the mirror in front of you. Shoulder moves beneath your chin. Good, let the shoulder drop down. Keep that arm down parallel to the floor, reaching, stretching towards the mirrors. Now suck the stomach in, bring the body down. Parallel to the floor, reach the fingertips towards the eyebrows and now kick more than you think you can. Toes coming over the top of your head. Take a moment to make sure we're not moving too quick, too fast. So breathing through the nose to stabilize. Relaxing shoulders, reaching, stretching in opposite directions. And now dropping that right hip down a little bit more than you think you can. Now keep the toes straight over the top of your head. Suck your stomach in. Go to your maximum point. Last eight seconds to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Chin away from the chest. Look forward. Now kick three, two, one. Kick to come out. Nice job. Right leg comes down. Take your full inhale, exhale. Okay, second side, left arm out, palm facing up towards the ceiling. So let's take the left arm, drop it down. Grab back at the inside of the left ankle, squeeze your knees together. Eyes are focused forward. We're gonna inhale, right arm comes up, palm facing up towards the ceiling. Chin up nice and tall, away from the chest, squeeze your knees together. Take an inhale, breathing, reach up, stretch up to the ceiling, start to kick. That's left leg back and away, and we're kicking back, and we're opening up the spine, kick back, and reach the body forwards. Keep the chin up away from the chest, reach the right arm forwards in front of you, and just feel the breath the whole way into the posture. Body comes down parallel to your floor. Good, left hip is pushing down. You can feel that stretch into the front left side of your hip. Feel the length through the front of the quad, and then we're pinching that left right side back. So we're pinching, kicking the toes over the top of the head, reaching, stretching to that right fingertip. And now once we are down there, start to just kick toes up higher, body down more, suck the stomach in, tightening up that standing gluteal muscle. And now last eight seconds to breathe. Reach forward, body down and kick. Reach forward, body down and kick, kick, kick. Change. Nice job, really good. Left leg comes down, arms to your sides. Okay, breathing slow, one point of focus. And just do it one more time for that second set. So 30 seconds, half the time. Let's start right arm out, palm facing up. Drop the right arm down and back. Grab at the inside of your right ankle. Okay, if you haven't practicing for a while, maybe bringing the hand more towards the very top of the foot. All right, squeeze your knees. Left arm up, palm facing forwards. Chin up away from the chest. Okay, try to get the arching out of the spine already wherever you're at. Take an inhale, lift up, stretch up, and now start to kick and kick back and reach the body forward. It's beautiful. Shoulders down and back, stretching, reaching through the fingertips. Right arm gets pulled back. And now kick more, kick all the way up, toes up over the top of your head. Let that right shoulder stretch back. Now slowly body comes down, parallel to your floor. Nice, fingertips to the eyebrows. And now suck the stomach in, body down, shoulder to hip level, body down, and now kick straight leg. 
standing split. Three, two, kick. One. Nice, Maria. Right leg comes down, toes and feet together, full breath. Second side, same setup. So again, finding the grip, left arm out, palm facing up towards the ceiling. Let's drop left arm down. Grab back at the inside of your left ankle. Again, grabbing at the top of the foot if that works, knees together. Let's inhale, right arm comes up, palm facing forwards, chin up nice and tall away from the chest. All right, stabilize the standing leg. Good with the spine, take an inhale, reach up, stretch up to the ceiling and now kick. Left leg back and away and kick back and reach the body forward. Reach that right shoulder blade in front of you, fingertips towards the eyebrows. Pushing the left hip down, nice Janine, fingertips reaching forward, touch the eyebrows and let that right shoulder drop. Let it relax and now reach it forward, that's it. Fingertips to the eyebrows, beautiful, suck the stomach in. And now bring the body down to its lowest point, stabilize, kick harder to stabilize, four, three, two, one. Kick to come out, nice Patrick. Left leg comes down, nice down, toes and feet together, full breath through the nose. All right, let's take a big step. So move to the back of the mat, let's go toes and feet together nicely, starting right into balancing stick. Inhale, arms up over the head, palm stretch. Interlace all 10, release the index fingers, cross the thumbs. Take a deep inhale, reach up, step the right foot forward, big step, lock both knees, balance, now charge. Body down, leg up. You wanna charge the body down looking forward as if you're looking for your fingertips. Look forward to send the energy that way. Reaching, stretching through your shoulder blades. Someone is pulling you from the fingertips and pulling you from the toes. Left hip down more, lock that left knee, suck the stomach in, reach forward, kick back, change. And it's just as slow coming out. Toes and feet together, take an inhale, reach up. Left foot forward, big step, lock both knees, lengthen through the back toes and then charge. Body comes down right into a capital letter T, chin away from the chest. Look forward for your fingertips, chin out, biceps with your ears, push the biceps to the sides of the head, good. Now lift the leg up more, suck the lower stomach in, inhale, stretch forward, exhale, kick back, change. Toes and feet together, exhale, arms down to your sides. Nice and slow, feel the heart starting to increase. And we take the next second, just a quarter turn, face the side wall, come to the back left corner of the mat, and just find something new to focus on. So we're gonna move into standing separate leg stretching. Big toes touch, heels touch. All right, all together, let's inhale, arms up over the head, palms touch, cross the thumbs. And step the right foot out to the right, big step, four feet. Arms come down parallel to the floor, triceps contracted. All right, if it feels okay, turn the big toes in slightly. So we're gonna go standing separate leg stretching first before triangle and meow, and you got it. So feet, all 10 toes point forward. Mm -hmm. Pull the arms back, inhale, lift the chest up and exhale, start to swan dive down. You got it. Slowly coming down, suck the stomach in. Bend your knees whenever you need to and let's bring the belly right up against your thighs. All right, create length in your spine, wrap the hands behind your heels, grab underneath your heels, all 10 fingers in the same direction as your toes. Relax the head completely, suck the stomach in, start to roll forwards and push the knees back. Push your knees back, lift your thighs up, and now pull, nice. Pulling, again, lengthening through the spine using your bicep strength. See if we can roll a little bit more forward and then bring the body almost through the window of the legs. Compress and lengthen. Push your knees back, lift your thighs up, pull more with your bicep strength. Roll forward, roll forward, roll forward until it feels like you're about to roll into the wall in front of you and now touch the hairline to the floor, hold it. Change. Arms back, inhale, stretch up through center. Step the feet together, inhale, arms over the head, palms touch, exhale, lowering the arms down sides. All right, you have that one point of focus in front of you. Moving into triangle, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, cross the thumb, step right foot out to the right, four feet, arms down. Turn the right toes out 90 degrees, tuck the left toes in slightly and start to bend. Bounce into the right knee. So we're gonna bounce a few times, get that right thigh down parallel to the floor. Okay, arms in that capital T, we're gonna flip the palms and now rotate the arms, bring the right elbow to the right knee. Elbow to your knee, fingertips reaching towards the space of the big and the second toes. Chin to your left shoulder, make the profile of your face visible to the person behind of you. Now take the right elbow and push it harder against the knee as you bring the left hip slightly forward. Keep everything in alignment. Two hips nice and strong and straight, fingertips reaching six o'clock, 12 o'clock, chin touching the left shoulder. Now look up with your eyes, suck your stomach in, and as you inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling, change. 
push off the right leg as straight as you can. Turn the right toes in, pivot the left toes out. Press the hips forward, start to bend into your left knee. Bounce a few times, come all the way down. Let's pull both arms back, flip the palms, and now rotate the arms. So bring the left elbow to your left knee. Elbow to your knee, fingertips touching that space between the big and the second toes. We wanna to keep the chin tucked towards the chest and then we just give it a slight turn so the profile of your face is visible to that wall behind of you. Your chin is touching something. We're gonna suck your lower stomach in. Press down from the outer edge of the right foot, tighten your right gluteal muscle. Now stretch that right shoulder blade, reach up towards the ceiling, change. Let's take a big step, feet together, inhale, arms over the head. Exhale, lower the arms down sides and just see if you can stay completely still. Okay, we're working every single muscle, every gland, every organ in the body. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms up, over the head, palms together, cross the thumbs. Let's step right foot out to the right. Big step, four feet. Arms come down parallel, and we start to turn right toes out, 90 degrees. Left toes turn in slightly, so second set, triangle. Arms down, capital T. Start to bend into your right knee, pull both arms back, flip the palms, and now rotate the arms. Go right elbow to your right knee. Push the knee back and reach that left arm over, really opening up the lungs, the heart, the chest, the rib cage. Sit lower, bend your right knee more, lunge into it. Grip your left pinky toe into the floor, suck your stomach in and out, chin to the shoulder, look up, lift up, stretch up, change. Inhale, rising. Do it one more time, so turn the right toes in, pivot the left toes out, bounce into your left knee a few times, and just make sure the arms are nice and strong in a capital T. All right, flip the palms and let's rotate the arms. Let's go left elbow to your left knee. We're gonna go elbow to your knee, fingertips touch the space between the big and second toes. Okay, finding that space, finding the right foot, press it flat against the floor, left foot flat down against the floor, body weight in the toes and pushing into the heel equally. Push the elbow against the knee, suck your stomach in, touch the chin to your shoulder. And now inhale as you twist the upper body back at the end, change. Let's inhale, come up, take a big step, feet together, arms overhead, palms touch, slow as you can, exhale, arms to your sides. All right, eyes are looking forward. We're gonna go right into standing, separate leg stretching, forehead to knee, inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Let's step right foot out to the right, three feet. Pick up the toes, turn to pivot, face again your side wall, rotate the left hip forwards. We want two hips beneath two shoulders. All right, palms together, inhale, reach up, stretch up, tuck the chin, exhale, breathing, start to roll the body into a nice compact ball. Stretching the backside body, suck the stomach in, compressing front side organs. Bend up the front knee as much as you need to, separate the hands, push through your fingertips, and now bring forehead to knee. And right into it, forehead to your knee, let's push in both hips forwards, suck the stomach in, and press down to the back heel, holding it there. See if we can keep the forehead to your knee, maybe the hairline, bring both hands back to prayer, balance first, maybe straighten both legs with the forehead to knee, hold. And now inhale, rise up through the center. Slow as you can, stack the spine one on top of itself. Nice, chin up away from the chest last. Let's pick up the toes, turn pivot. Pick up the toes again, turn again, pivot, wrap the right hip forward, push that right hip towards your back wall. Arms are locked, inhale, reach to the ceiling, tuck the chin. Exhale, start to curl the body into a ball. Slowly coming down, suck the stomach in, compress the front side organs, lengthen through the back side body. Press the right hip down and forwards and now suck the stomach in. Push through your fingertips so the arms are almost straight and push so hard you can bring your hairline to your knee. And if you have the forehead touching your knee, apply a little bit more pressure to help straighten that leg. Keep the right hip down and forwards. Now keep the forehead to your knee, maybe straighten the legs, bring hands together in prayer, balance. Inhale, breathing, slowly rise, back to center, stack the spine, hips forward, chin on the chest until the very last second. And let's turn, pivot. Feet together, exhale, lowering, arms to your sides, nice and still. We're gonna go ahead to turn back, face the self into your mirrors. So let's quarter turn, face your eye gaze, let's go big toes touch, heels touch. We're gonna finish up with one strong set of tree and then tree into toes down. So placing all the weight to your left leg, make sure it's locked out solid. Inhale, right leg comes up. Let's take the right hand to your ankle, left hand to the inside of your foot. Pick the foot up high, drop the knee down slow. We really wanna rotate the bottom of the foot to face up to the ceiling, feel that. 
right? Two knees in one line. If the foot stays where it's at, let's release the right hand first. Maybe the left hand meets for Namaskar. Okay, allow the hips to relax. Look four feet in front of you onto the floor. And if you're ready for toe stand, start to hinge. Body down. Hinging at the waist. Keeping the eyes forward in front of you. Come all the way down. We're going to start to bend into the left knee. Sit down on top of the heel. Bring the hands to your sides for balance. Now, once we have the balance, push away from the ground. Try to get as long as you can through the spine up towards the top of the again, ceiling. If you can find the stillness, start to move left hand, right hand for Namaskar. Press the palms together. Look straight ahead if you have your balance. See if we can start to lift off the heels you hold. Breathing in, breathing out of your nose. And now tree staying really strong, toe. Come back out the opposite way. So push down, come right back up towards your standing position. Find your eyes at the top and all together. Let's change, good. Right leg comes down, let it go, shake it out. Let's keep again, right leg down, inhale, left leg comes up. So take the left hand to the ankle, right hand to the inside of the foot. Pick the foot up as high as it can get, drop the knee down slow. Try to get two knees in line with each other. Okay, if the foot does not slip, make one point of focus, left hand first, right hand meets for Namaskar. Right, two shoulders in one line. Let's suck the stomach in and start to hinge at the waist. Hinging the body down, use your arms as you reach forward, grab the floor as needed. Lean forward, bend into the right knee, and sit down on top of the heel. Good, right in the center line of the body. Sitting down as you hold, nice job. And as you find your stillness, push away from the floor, start to release, left hand first, maybe the right hand meets for Namaskar. All right, if both hands are in prayer, holding it there, look straight ahead. If you have the stillness, lift up and away from the heel. Tree stay nice and strong. Beautiful toe, balancing. Start to come back out the opposite way you went in, taking your time. Push right back up into your center. Find a moment of stillness all together at the top. Eye contact forward and let's all together change. Left leg comes down. We're going to seal off your standing practice. Okay, acknowledge it. Let's turn around right away. Get right onto your back, feet to the back wall, head to the mirrors, palms facing up towards the ceiling. And we're in our first savasana. So you want to start to slow down your breathing, allow the body to take in all it can from the standing practice. And then just letting go of whatever you don't need any longer for your floor series. So any leftover tension or any thoughts that you don't really need. Okay, you're gonna lie back, heels together, toes fall wide open, palms face up. All right, seal the lips, breathing through the nose. Okay, we wanna just keep that internal heat going. So we're breathing through the back of the throat, that slight constriction, okay, that ujjayi breath. We're gonna keep heels together, toes fall wide open. Take one more full breath. Exhale all the way out. And let's bring toes and feet together to touch. All right, heels together, big toes touch, flex all 10 toes towards you. Let's tuck the chin firm down into the chest. Look for your toes, inhale, right leg off the floor. Okay, Pavna Maktasana, bend the knee into the chest. Let's interlace all 10 fingers, including the thumbs. Pull the knee out to the right, avoid the rib cage, and don't pull straight down into the right shoulder. Feel pinching into the hip joint and feel the biceps working to really pull, create that constriction. Left shoulder blade down, suck the stomach in, flex that left foot if it, the calf is coming off the floor, relax the right foot, and now exhale, just pull harder, pull deeper, and freeze, release. Right leg comes down, let it go. All right, let's inhale, left leg comes up, bend the knee into the chest, interlace all 10 fingers, include your thumbs, take the knee out to the left, avoid the rib cage, and now pull. And the pulling is really happening by not using so much of the chest, but it's the bicep strength. So we're, we're broadening the collarbones, pressing both shoulder blades down into the floor. Pull with your biceps, suck the stomach in, bring the ribs in, bring the rib cage down to your floor, and now pull harder, pull deeper, hold. Change, good. Left leg comes down. 
Let's inhale, both legs lift. Bend your knees, wrap the arms around your knees, grab onto the opposite elbows over each other. Take a few seconds here if it feels good to kind of rock back and forth or side to side. Right, get some movement into your spine. All right, we're gonna stop right into the middle. Tuck the chin down into the chest. <laughs> Look down the midline of the body. Take an inhale, squeeze your knees. Exhale, push the hips down to the floor. Again, try to do the same thing. Broaden the collarbones, press the shoulder blades down into your floor. Inhale and exhale. Push your upper back, middle back, lower back, tailbone to your floor. Squeeze your knees and hold. Release. Both legs come out. Completely relax, palms face up, heels together, toes fall wide open. And right, we're gonna start to just re-energize with a nice strong sit up. Let's flex feet, arms over the head, cross the thumbs, tuck the chin, nice deep inhale, sit up, dive straight for the toes, touch forehead to your shins, double exhale. Good, and let's turn around the opposite way you normally do. Let's come all the way up, flip onto your belly, feet to the back wall, head to your mirrors. All right, so moving into cobra. So we're on the belly, arms to your sides, elbows point up, all right, all five fingers touching each other. All right, pressing down through your thumbs and your index fingers, chin out long, squeeze your legs, take a deep inhale, breathing, look up, and now lift. We're gonna peel the body off the floor using 100% back strength. Try to keep the back of the neck as long as we can. Pull back from the upper back. Good, eyes are open, looking up towards the ceiling in front of you. Pinch the elbows in, stretch your triceps down, and now squeeze your legs. Inhale, lift up, come up, go up, more up. Change, slowly come down. Look to the right, left ear flat to the floor, palms face up, toes touch, heels collapse open. Second step, turn away from the chest, bring the hands right back to your sides. All right, press down from the thumb and index finger. Squeeze your legs, take an inhale, breathing, look up, and now lift up, peel. Everything off the floor. Chest, belly, heart, rib cage. One day, hips coming off the floor. Pull the back of your neck towards the wall behind of you. Eyes can look up without crunching the head backs. So make sure you're guiding yourself with your eyes, looking up to go up. Pinch the elbows in, good. Squeeze your legs, press down from the tops of your feet. And now press down from the index and the thumbs. Lift up, come up, go up. Now let the head go slightly back. Look for the wall behind of you, hold it. Change, slowly come down, good. Look to the left, right ear flat to the floor. Right, and big breath into the middle spine. Moving into locust, chin away from the chest. Let's take both hands, flip the palms over, bring the hands underneath you. Pinky fingers touch side by side, Let's spread out all 10 fingers as wide as you can. Grip the floor, use your fingertips. I'm gonna start by stretching out the throat, so chin away from the chest. Relax the left leg, lock the right leg, stretch it back and lift. 10 seconds, right leg, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg down. Lock the left leg, stretch it way back, inhale, lift it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg comes down. Tuck the chin, squeeze your legs together. Pinky fingers touch, 10 fingers spread wide. Take an inhale and exhale, lift up. Both legs off the floor. Locking your knees, pointing your toes. Nice, Janine. Press the weight forward into your shoulders. Squeeze your legs, point your toes. Mouth down, lift up, come up, go up. Change. And that's it, let it go. Remove the arms from underneath you. Look to your right, left ear flat to the floor. And just really practicing, completely relaxing after each posture. And allow the shoulders to relax. Okay, hips relax into the floor. Let's do it again, second set, chin away from the chest. Take the hands, flip them underneath the body. All right, press the shoulders down. Squeeze your legs together, relax the left leg, let it go. Okay, lock the right leg, stretch it way back, and on the inhale, lift up, right leg off the floor. Bring it way up, all the way up to your highest point. Again, 90 degrees right over the top of your head, locking your knee, pointing your toes, lift up, come up, change. Lock your left, stretch it back, lift it straight up to your highest peak, 10 seconds. Lock the knee, point the toes. Try to touch the bottom of your foot to the ceiling above you. Press down with your shoulders, come up, go up, change. 
Good, left leg down. Now tuck your chin, kiss the floor. We're gonna do third final part, squeeze your legs together. Press your palms down, take an inhale. And exhale, lift up. 10 seconds, locking your knees, pointing your toes, pushing with your fingers, pressing with your forearms. You're gonna lift up to come up and hold. Locking your knees, pointing your toes. Good, holding it. Push down, lift up, come up, go up. And we change, slowly coming down. Good, pushing down through the elbows. You got it, beautiful. Thumbs down. Nice. Beautiful. Now slowly taking your time to come out. If you're already on the floor, looking towards the left, right ear flat to the mat. Nice job, Dan. <laughs> Let's move into the whole middle back. So we're going to go chin out away from the chest. Let's go full locust. Arms out to the sides like airplane wings. All right, arms in a capital T. Squeeze your legs together. Lock your knees, point your toes, press both hips firm into your floor. And take a nice deep inhale, breathing. Fill your lungs, look up, and now lift. And lifting up almost as if we came up into cobra. So not checking the head back, keeping the neck as long as you can, looking up with your eyes, practicing that moving your eyes, but not moving your neck. Arms up higher. Lock your knees, point your toes, legs up higher. And now slightly moving the chin up. Arms up, lift up, come up, go up, more up. Change, good. Slow on the way down, look to your right, left ear flat to the floor. Let's do it again, second set, chin away from the chest, arms out, capital T. Okay, arms out, press the palms down, squeeze your legs, press the hips firm into your floor. Now take a nice deep inhale, breathing, look up and lift. Try to keep the arms in a T for longer than normal. So all the way in a T, up over the top of the head, feel it in the shoulders, the upper back, and then we move back, chin back, in line with your shoulders, eyes up, squeeze your legs, legs up higher. Good, legs up higher, chest up, look up, lift up, come up, hold that, change. Slow on the way down, nice, Laura. Look to the left, right ear, to the floor, nice and now. Full breath in, out of the nose. And let's go into our final part, floor bow. So chin away from the chest, bend up both knees, grab from the outsides of the feet, and rest the pinky fingers beneath the crease line of your toes. All right, press the hips down firm into your floor, point the feet and the hands. Okay, once you have your nice strong grip, take an inhale and exhale, kick. Both legs off the floor. Kick back and kick up, kick back and kick up, kick back, kick up. Allow the body to peel off the floor. Same thing with the head, pulling the head back. Nice double chin and then looking up for your toes above of you. Suck the stomach in, roll forward onto the belly. And then roll forward and see if you can stay forward and then try to just peel the chest back up without rolling back. Good, head back, eyes up, now kick. Change. So good. Come up. Nice and easy. Look to the right, left ear flat to the floor. See a lot of opening in the middle back, the shoulders, full spine back bending. Right, let's do it one more time just like that. Chin away from the chest. Bend up both knees. Again, grabbing again. Same place you did before. Pinky fingers in line with the crease line of the toes. If you have a different grip you want to try, you can go for that, if it feels good today. All right, bring the knees together, relax the shoulders, take a nice inhale, breathing, and exhale, kick. Both legs off the floor, kick back and kick up, breathe into the shoulders, allowing them to stretch. Kick back and kick up, pulling the head back, roll forwards, kick as high as you can, and then try to lift the chest back up so you're in this beautiful wheel shape. And you got it, kick up, kick up, kick up. The legs can play as much as they need to get to your highest point, and then try to bring the legs back together. And now drop the head back, last chance, inhale, roll a little bit more forward, and now kick, kick, kick. Change, beautiful, slow on the way out. All right, letting that one go, look to the left, right ear flat to the floor, let the floor just completely hold you. And let's tuck your toes, tighten the core, press your palms down, see if we can just push right up. You can keep the knees down if that feels better. Push right up if you're holding in that high plank, you can send it back into a down dog. All right, maybe staying back into the high plank, adding some push-ups. Whatever feels good, pushing and holding. Okay, index and thumbs in the floor. 
Now let's look to the top of the mat, moving forward. So let's come all the way up, bring the knees together, spread the heels apart. We're gonna sit right between the heels for a fixed front. So we're gonna go hips down, left hand, right hand to the soles of the feet, and we start to lower ourselves down. So elbows touch the floor, resting to the forearms, press the forearms down, and try to get as much height in the chest as you can. So forearms down, chest up, drop the head back. See if you can touch your hairline to the floor, and then tuck the chin, shoulders down without losing that lift in the chest. The spine is not flat to the floor. We you have somebody that's going to crawl right underneath you. All right, arms over the head. Once you're ready, crossing at the elbows, tuck the chin, look down for your belly button, lengthen the back of the neck. And now see if we can bring the knees a little bit closer. Okay, pointing down to the toes. Take a nice inhale through the belly. Exhale all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale all the way out. All right, squeeze your knees. Inhale, lift up slowly, hands to your feet. Push all the way up to center. Come up, lean forward, bring both palms down. Again, wrists beneath shoulders, step your feet back. Step your feet back, maybe coming down into a push-up, pressing through the thumbs of the index, maybe sending it all the way back into a chaturanga, into a downward dog. So pushing the heels down, press the belly towards the thighs. Good, now we're gonna look right down into the middle of your floor, bend your knees, sit down onto your heels, and let's inhale, arms come right over the top of the head. So palms together for half tortoise. Cross your thumbs, chin up away from the chest, keep the head right in between the arms. Let's inhale, stretch up, exhale, fold. Come down like a tabletop, strong straight spine. Keep the hips down, reach, reach, reach all the way forward, touch the tip of your nose, and center between the eyebrows to your mat. Now squeeze the biceps towards each other unless the head is not touching the floor, then open the biceps, let the head hang down, and then re-squeeze the arms. Inhale, walk forwards. One by one by one. Exhale, push the hips to your heels. Again, inhale, walk forward one by one. Exhale, pushing the hips all the way down. See if you can relax a little bit more into it. Squeeze your knees. Inhale, reach forward and lift. Belly in, ribs in. Lift up, come up straight up tall, touch the ceiling, exhale, lower, arms to your sides, good. So quick turn around, lie back onto your floor, heels touch, toes fall wide open, palms face up to the ceiling. We're gonna start with a strong sit up, moving ourselves into camel. Flex feet, ground heels, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, tuck your chin, deepest inhale, sit up. Straight for the toes, forehead to shins, double exhale. All right, let's turn all the way around, let's stand up tall. So top of the mats, standing on your knees, and moving into camel, deepest backward bend. Spine is at its most warm point. Let's open up the knees six inches. Two fists between the knees to measure it out. Make sure the feet are opened up just as much. Now let's wrap the hands behind your back. Hinge the elbows nice and strong. Pull the chin slightly back already so your ears are above your shoulders. Okay, bring the hands up a little bit higher if that feels good. Let's take an inhale, lift up, push the hips, pull the chin back, and now go back. Look down the ceiling, look down the ceiling, look down for the back wall, look for the floor beneath you, push the hands more to the hips, and now reaching right hand back, left hand back. Fingers on the insides, thumbs on the outside. Look all the way back, look for the floor beneath you. Then once you have your grip, draw the shoulder blades down, pull the head back, and now look for the toes. Maybe wiggling the toes, see if you can find them. Softly pull the lower belly in, squeeze in through your inner thighs, lift up from the pubic bone, and now exhale, push hips, stomach, legs, everything forward, change. Inhale, come up, sit straight back, turn around immediately, try to get right onto your floor. All right, heels touch, toes fall wide open, palms up. And then seeing what you need from the first set, what you don't need, clear out any stale air, tension. Let's do it one more time. Flex feet, arms up. Cross the thumbs, tuck the chin, nice deep. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Dive, forehead to shins, double exhale. All right, let's turn all the way around, second set. So we're gonna come back up. This is going to be our last backward bend. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, set your intention for it. 
All right, we're gonna go six inches between the knees to the feet. Let's wrap the hands behind your back, pinch the elbows nice and tight, chin up away from the chest. All right, pull the head slightly back, so knowing again where your ears are in relation to your shoulders. Take an inhale, chest up, heart up, push the hips, exhale, drop the head. Look down the ceiling, look down the back wall, look for the floor, reach your right hand back, reach your left hand back. We have fingers on the insides, good, thumbs on the outsides. Hips forward, chest up, heart up, head back. Look for the floor, look for your heels. Look for your toes. Take an inhale, suck the belly slightly and exhale, push everything a little bit more forward. Now staying here for as long as you can, try to deepen your breath. A few more inhales, exhales. Then when you're ready, just coming up and turning all the way around. Belly is still in, inner thighs moving together, lifting from the pubic bone. Look for your toes and hold. Really good, so taking your time. Coming out as you're ready. If you're still in, push down through your knees. Good, and now reach for the heels. You got it. Nice job, really good. Holding, beautiful. Amazing, taking it slow, come out the opposite way. Much deserved savasana. If you would like to in a round, lie down savasana, feet to the back wall, head to the mirrors, palms up towards the ceiling. And it's slowing down the breathing from backward bending. Let's go into a very strong sit up, flex feet, ground heels, arms overhead, cross the thumbs, tuck the chin, inhale, sit up, quickly dive, straight for the toes, double exhale. So let's turn around, sit into rabbit, let's complement the spine, move it the whole opposite direction, starting with, again, heat, hips down, sitting on the heels, towel comes over the heels for the dry grip, and we wanna grab fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside. So hold the grip, lean back, tuck the chin, tuck the stomach in, lift the middle back up, and to exhale, start to roll the body into a ball. Bring your eyebrows to your knees, forehead to your shin. Okay, eyebrows from these top of the head to the floor, and we wanna lift the hips off the heels. So lift the hips up, walk the knees up one by one, regaining a forehead to knee connection. Now feel that initial stretch of the spine, rolling the hips forward. Walk the knees up, push the tops of the feet down, roll the hips forward, shoulders up, suck the stomach in, push the biceps against the sides of your legs, and now start to really pull. Roll forward, roll forward, hips up, change. We lower the hips down, stack the spine, chin up off the chest last, take the towel out, turn around, lie down, savasana right onto your back. Heels tight, toes fall wide open, palms face up to the ceiling. Do it again, second set, flex feet, arms overhead, cross the thumbs, tuck the chin deep, inhale, dive. Quick double exhale, grab toes, touch the forehead to your shins. Let's turn the opposite way. All right, coming back up, middle of the mat, knees and feet together. Take the towel over the heels if you would like for a dry grip. We're gonna hold the heels, lean back, tuck the chin, and then lift the middle back up. Exhale, breathing, roll the body into a ball. So lift middle back up, exhale, roll. Eyebrows to knees, top of the head to your floor. Once the head hits the floor, lift the hips off the heels, lift up, walk your knees up one by one. Regain that forehead to knee connection, lift your shoulders up more, up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in now, use your hands not to pull, but to push down and then pull. Push down into the floor and then pull, roll forward, hips up, hips up, hips up, change. Hips slowly come down, good. Really lengthening the spine. We stack, chin up away from the chest. And let's turn around again, just the opposite way. Lie down onto your floor, coming into your savasana. Deepening your breathing in, out of your nose. We have two final postures of the 26. Let's go flex feet, arms overhead. Cross your thumbs, tuck the chin deep. Inhale, sit up, dive for the toes, double exhale. All right, so swing the legs in front of you. Let's go head to knee with stretching, left leg in, right leg out to the top right corner of the mat. Right, slightly forward, hips are rolled forward, spine tall. Let's inhale, arms over the head, interlace all 10 fingers, reach up, turn to the right, tuck the chin and round. See if we can go forehead right to your knee, and then we get the grip. And once you have the grip, kick through the heel, flex all five toes back to your face. Roll into the middle of the legs, pinch the biceps to the sides, and now kick so hard the heel lifts off the floor at the end. Change, inhale. Right leg in, left leg out. Again, roll the hips forwards. Take an inhale, reach up, turn to the left, tuck the chin and round up over the left toes. 
10 fingers down beneath your foot. Roll your right hip forward, right shoulder down. Suck the stomach in, bend your elbows as you need, as you can bend the elbows, kick so hard we can pull the whole heel, the whole foot off the floor at the end, hold, change. Inhale, rising up. Let's kick both feet straight in front of you. Dive straight back, and we're going, we're going to inhale. As soon as you touch the floor, sit up, dive, grab toes, double exhale at the end. And let's take the middle and index fingers. So two-piece sign fingers, hook grip the big toes. Bring the heels together, flex all 10 toes back towards you. And same thing, just trying to almost tilt the hips forward. So chest up, spine straight. Take an inhale, lift, and exhale, pull. Lengthen the body down across the legs. All right, make sure the pinky toes don't start to curl out. Keep the big toes, ankle bones together. Take an inhale, exhale, come all the way down and pull. Belly to your thighs, chest down to your knees. Shoulder blades back, now touching forehead to your shins. Good, move the ankle bones back together, inner thighs back together, inner calves back together. Now pull, flex, touch forehead to your shins. Kick the heels off the floor as you hold. And we change, good, inhale, come up, let's go straight back. Arms overhead, dive back, touch the floor, inhale, and sit up, dive for the toes. All right, double exhale, let's quarter turn. Look at your side wall, let's bring left leg down for spine twist. So left leg down, right leg comes up into cross. Let's put the right arm at the base of your spine. And on the inhale, reach the left arm up. So reach up, cross over the knee, push the knee back and away. Now turn and twist the upper body around. Look over the right shoulder. Look for the farthest thing you can find. Suck your stomach in, look way back. If you have a bind, you can go for it when you're ready. We wrap right arm around the back. We thread the left arm through, reaching for fingertips, reaching for wrist. You can even keep it at one part of the bind if you wanna go for the full thing doing that. Suck your stomach in, you got it. Reaching forward, leaning forward to grab, and now push the chest through and turn, twist back, look back, more back. Change, unravel, slowly come out the opposite way. Good, so switch the legs, right leg down, left leg up and across. Okay, make sure the ankle is all the way at the top of the knee. We're gonna go left arm behind of you, inhale, right arm comes up, reach up to the ceiling, cross over the knee, push the knee back and away, now turn and twist the upper body around. So we're twisting back, look back, look for the farthest thing you can find. If you did it before, again, start to wrap, left arm around the back, threading the right arm through. Right, and as you're threading, really finding that nice strong grip, grabbing to your fingertips, maybe one day grabbing for the wrist. Each side's gonna be a little bit different, so maybe leaning forwards to find that bind. Suck your stomach in, turn, twist, look back, go back, more back. Change, good, so slowly unravel, lie straight back to your floor, heels together, toes fall wide open. <clears throat> All right, so working really hard. Let's finish everything up with our final breathing. Nice and strong sit up. Let's flex feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, tuck your chin, inhale, dive. Straight for the toes, double exhale. Let's turn all the way around. Sit into a comfortable seated position. Face yourself into the front mirror. Okay, we're sitting down, strong straight spine, the belly's relaxed, arms in front of you, fingertips really lightly touching the top of the knees. All right, relax the stomach, focus just on the exhale through the mouth. Okay, take a nice inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Exhale, exhale, exhale. A bit faster. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the belly all the way in. Exhale out whatever you don't need. All right, cleansing the body. Seal off your practice. All right, it's a really great job. Thank yourself for being here. We're going to take the next few moments to just flip right onto your back. Let's have feet to the back wall, head to the mirrors. I'm just gonna dedicate at least one more minute of complete stillness. We're gonna seal off your practice, allowing your body to take in everything it just worked so hard throughout. All right, as soon as you lie back, take up a little bit more space. Feel free to close your eyes. 
deepening the breathing in out of your nose. All right, if it feels good, you can just kind of let the lips splice apart, relax the jaw, let the jaw drop down, right into the floor beneath you. All right, let the shoulders drop, let the hips drop. And just scanning the body to see if there's anywhere else that you can just let release down into the floor. Okay, the eyes are soft, the face is relaxed, the fingers curl in. Okay, and we're breathing into every single muscle that needs it. Okay, so just work so hard. So take your time here, stay here for as long as you need to. And enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.